Good morning. Yes, Sunday has come back again. And as it's Sunday, we are thanking God for all that he's done in the last week, all he's going to do in the next week. We praise him and thank him for being with us day by day. And we rejoice. We rejoice that we are the children of God. And as we rejoice in who we are and what we are, so we acknowledge what God has done for us. So, let us praise. Sing alleluia to the Lord. Sing alleluia to the Lord. Sing alleluia. Sing alleluia. Sing alleluia to the Lord. Jesus is risen from the dead. Jesus is risen from the dead. Jesus is risen. Jesus is risen. Jesus is risen from the dead. Jesus is coming back again. Jesus is coming back again. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming back again. Jesus is coming very soon. Jesus is coming very soon. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming very soon. As I sit here and praise God on this Sunday morning, I'm looking out to a window. And as I look out the window, I can see that outside there are squirrels collecting their nuts. They come right up, almost up as far as the window. I've got two dogs, two Jack Russells, and they stand on the chair just inside the window. And they look with absolute horror at these squirrels drawing close. And they bark and they yell at them. You can almost feel them. If only I could get at you, you wouldn't sit there so complacently gathering those nuts. But, you know, the squirrels have great faith. They have great faith that the dogs cannot get through the window. They may be able to see them. They may be able to hear them. But the squirrels have great faith. The dogs cannot get through the window. You know, how I wish Christians had the same type of faith in God's power. At this present time, we've got all sorts of terrible things going on in the world. We look around and we see all sorts of horrors being manifested in the world. And we have to know for a fact that though we can see them and though we can hear about them, somehow there is a barrier between us and them. God will not allow those things to affect us. He will protect us from them. The enemy may be making all sorts of noises, all sorts of commotions in the world, but we have to know that we are the children of God. It's not a window that we have between us. It is, in fact, the very waters of baptism. We are the children of God. We know what he has done for us. We know that we are saved. We know that we have eternal life. We know this cannot be taken away from us. In the church, we have many different helps to our worship. We have the stained glass windows, which are used mainly to show people and tell people stories who are quite illiterate, but they were there just to remind them of the ancient stories of the church. Then, of course, we have the hymns, which we can sing, and the hymns very often contain for us 
great points of theology which somehow need to be communicated to us as we sing. But then as well, we have the choruses like the one I started off with this morning, Sing Hallelujah to the Lord. And with these choruses, we can just rejoice, rejoice at what God has done, just proclaiming our faith and proclaiming our praise. And it's almost as if we were the squirrels outside and the dogs are barking at us and we're there, we are certain, absolutely certain that God is in control and nothing can really touch us. So we sing in our hearts. And the wonderful thing about these choruses is that they can almost embed themselves within us so that we can almost wake up singing them. We can walk down the street humming them. We can drive the car thinking about them. We can do all of these things as we rejoice in what God has done for us. May God bless you during the week which is about to start. Amen. <laughs>